Welcome to the launch of the second generation 2017 Kia Cadenza. If you haven't heard of the Cadenza, don't worry. The entire segment is kind of shrinking, filled with vehicles like the Toyota Avalon, Nissan Maxima, Hyundai Azera, and Ford Taurus, just to name a few. So what is this car all about? It's a little bit bigger than an Optima and really designed for people kind of moving upstream from a Camry or an Accord. They've been in one of those for a few years and they really want a 5 Series or an E-Class, don't quite have the bucks. This could be your answer with a starting price of $33,000. Styling is a critical element for buyers in this segment. Just because they can't afford that E-Class of 5 Series doesn't mean they want to compromise. And they don't have to with this Cadenza. You have this Intaglio grille. It could be the shape of things to come for a Kia design. Uh, you have these new headlights, which I think are very sexy. So this is very important. But you know what? Come back here with me. I think this is the best part. When I look at the profile of this car, I see a Lexus LS, a car that starts at $75,000. This one starts at less than half that price. And that's what that buyer is looking for. They want a vehicle that looks like they spent 70 grand, but in reality, they only spend about 40. The engine that Kia has chosen to put in the Cadenza is a 3.3 liter V6 gas direct injection producing 290 horsepower, which is really on par with the entire segment. One of the vehicles that kind of stands out in that segment is the Impala, which has a four cylinder turbo. And we expect Kia in the next couple of years to kind of follow suit. Both my drive partner and I were really impressed with the Cadenza and struggled to find Anything to complain about, but we'll point out a few things. So starting with the interior, you have a great uh, driver's cockpit area. You have two big analog gauges. I like that, proper gauges. You have a seven inch multi-information display, and of course, a full color head-up display, which is new for the Cadenza this year, and I think that's great technology. Moving here, you have an eight inch infotainment screen, which is fine by today's standards, but in this vehicle, in this large form factor, it just looks small. You have Apple CarPlay, which of course we love, and in general, the instrument panel is quite nice. So let's talk a little bit about how this drives. You have, for the first time, an OEM built, eight speed automatic transmission in a front wheel drive application. And it shifts quite nicely, but if you're on twisty roads and you need to really get up and go, you're gonna to wanna to put it in sport mode, it'll shift faster. You have three modes, normal, eco, sport and a new mode called smart mode which constantly finds just the right uh, gear for you. You also have paddle shifters which we found handy uh, on those twisty roads so we could keep it in the proper gear. That 8-speed automatic transmission is not only designed to make the vehicle shift faster but also get better fuel economy. They told us a combined 23, we got a combined 25 and we weren't driving slow. We had a nice mix of highway and city driving. So uh, very impressed with the fuel economy. This car is very uh, fuel efficient in the sense that for a big vehicle, they've done a lot to increase the coefficient of drag to make it more aerodynamic. You have like a full pan underneath. So that not only improves the fuel economy, also reduces noise. This car is very quiet, very refined, uh, like the seats, uh, like the styling, like the pricing. Uh, if you look at the competitive set, the one thing I would say is the new Buick LaCrosse, a little bit lighter, feels a little more nimble, but I don't think that's a big deal for someone uh, looking for a vehicle in this segment. Some critics may refer to the Cadenza as the Korean Buick, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Buick has really stepped up their game. What this really is is a comfortable, full-size sedan the way cars used to be. If you want something more than a midsize, I think you have a lot of great options to choose from. Obviously, the Cadenza is loaded with great content as we've demonstrated. It's priced right, and it's got the industry's best warranty. I'm Ron Dorn. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on The Driver's Seat.